This section is on proportions. This is one of the most important sections on the SAT. You will need to understand proportions in order to work with similar triangles in the geometry section. Furthermore, as a piece of advice, if you are given a question in the grid in section of the SAT and you're at a total loss for how to find an answer, try proportions because it's a very powerful technique. In this section, you will learn how to find the missing term in a proportional equation, set up and solve a proportional equation, and set up and solve proportional equations using variables instead of numbers. Example one, if three packages of chewing gum cost 75 cents, how much do seven packages of chewing gum cost? First, write a fraction to express the idea that three packages of chewing gum cost 75 cents. The fraction on the right is three packages of chewing gum over 75 cents. Now write a fraction to express the idea that seven packages of chewing gum cost an unknown amount. The fraction is seven packages of chewing gum over x cents. We can set these two fractions equal to each other and form a proportion. This gives us three packages over 75 equals seven packages over x cents. Cross multiplying gives 3x equals 75 times 7. 3x is therefore equal to 525 cents. Dividing both sides by 3 gives x equals 175 cents, which we would usually express as $1.75. An important caution, watch your units. It is crucial that the ratio of the units is the same in both fractions. In example one, both fractions were expressed as packages over cents. Both fractions could have been written as cents over packages. However, we could not have a proportion in which the ratio was packages over cents in one fraction and cents over packages in the other. Example two, if three cans of applesauce sell for $1.25, how many cans of applesauce can you buy for $20? Set up a proportion. Three cans of applesauce over $1.25 equals X cans of applesauce over $20. Again, notice the units. We've been consistent. We have the number of cans in the numerator and the cost in the denominator. Cross multiplying gives us 20 times 3 equals 1.25x. To isolate the x and solve for the x, we divide by 1.25 on both sides of the equation for an answer of x equals 48. Therefore, we could buy 48 cans of applesauce for $20. Example 3, solving proportions written with variables instead of numbers. If Charlotta bought five CDs for C cents, how much did she pay for 11 CDs? Call the unknown amount she paid for 11 CDs X. We set up a proportion, five CDs over C cents equals 11 CDs over X cents. Cross multiply, this gives us five X equals 11 C. Divide both sides by five, X equals 11 C over five. Example three continued. Let's make the problem more difficult. If Charlotta bought five CDs for C cents, how much did she pay in dollars for 11 CDs? The easiest way to find the answer is to solve for X in cents and then convert to dollars by dividing the answer by 100 or by multiplying by one over 100, which is equivalent. We have 11 over 5C, which was the answer on the previous slide. We multiply by 1 over 100. That gives us 11 over 500C. Here are some practice problems for you to try. Pause the video after each problem. When you are done, come back for the answer. Let me give you a caution. The, easy, the first five problems or so are very easy and you could probably do them in your head or do them without using a proportion in any case. Please set up a proportion anyway because it gives you practice and that way you will know how to do it when we get to the more difficult problems that you can't do in your head. 
Practice problem one. If it takes three ounces of lavender oil mixed with eight ounces of sesame oil to make a skin cream, how much lavender oil must be used if the manufacturer starts with 56 ounces of sesame oil? The answer to practice problem one is 21 ounces of lavender oil. The proportion is three ounces of lavender oil over eight ounces of sesame oil equals X ounces of lavender oil over 56 ounces of sesame oil. Cross multiplying gives us 8X equals three times 56. Performing the calculations and dividing by eight gives X equals 21. Practice problem two. If three gallons of gas cost $5, how much do 12 gallons of gas cost? This problem with the prices we listed must go back to something like 1965 because you can't do that today. Answer to practice problem two. The answer is 20. The proportion is three gallons over $5 equals 12 gallons over X dollars. Cross multiplying gives 3x equals 12 times 5. 12 times 5 is 60. We have 3x equals 60. To solve for x, we divide both sides of the equation by 3 for an answer of x equals 20. Practice problem 3. If mailing five letters to Senegal cost $4.35, how much does it cost to mail eight letters to Senegal? Set up a proportion, and when you get the answer, it will be $6.96. The proportion is five letters over $4.35 equals eight letters over X dollars. Cross multiplying gives 5X equals eight times 435. Dividing both sides by 5 to solve for x gives x equals $6.96. Practice problem 4. If dinner for 4 costs $72, how much does dinner for 10 people cost? The answer is $180. $72 for 4 people equals x dollars for 10 people. Cross multiplying gives us 720 equals 4x. We divide both sides by 4 and we get $180. Practice problem 5. Jeff bought mice to feed his pet snake. If three mice cost C cents, how much did seven mice cost? This is the type of problem where you really need a proportion and can't do it in your head. Answer to practice problem five, the answer is seven thirds C. We set up a proportion. Three mice over C cents equals seven mice over X cents. Cross multiply, three X equals seven C. Solve for X by dividing both sides by three. And on the left, three X over three cancels to X. And then we have seven over three C on the right. And our answer is seven over three C. If eight iPods cost C cents, how much do 12 iPods cost in dollars? The answer to practice problem six is three over 200 C. The proportion is eight iPods over C cents equals 12 iPods over X cents. Cross multiplying gives eight X equals 12 C, X equals 12 eight C, to convert to dollars, divide one by 100 or multiply by one over 100. Remember that division is equivalent to multiplication by the reciprocal. We have 12 8 C equal times one over 100 equals 12 over 800 C. Reducing to lowest terms gives three over 200 C. Practice problem seven. If Charlotta bought two tubes of lipstick for D dollars, how much did five tubes cost in cents? The answer to practice problem seven is 250D. Set up the proportion and solve. The proportion is two over D equals five over X. 
Cross multiplying gives us 2x equals 5d, x equals 5 halves d. Now, because we're converting from dollars to cents, we multiply that 5 halves d by 100. This gives us 500 over 2d, which simplifies to 250d. Practice problem eight is a challenge problem. If it takes H hours to complete P pages of homework, how many minutes does it take to complete M pages of homework? The answer is it will take 60 HM over P minutes. Set up the proportion. We have H hours for P pages of homework equals X hours for M pages of homework. Notice that the units were the same hours over homework. We will convert to minutes later. Cross multiplying gives us HM equals XP. We divide both sides by P to solve for X. This gives us X equals HM over P. However, this answer is in hours. We need to find the answer in minutes. To convert to minutes, multiply by 60 and get 60 HM over P.